we are doing a volume of a cone. We are asked to find the volume of a right circular cone that has a height of 15.4 meters, a base with a circumference of 18 meters, and they want us to round our answer to the nearest tenth of a cubic meter. So what I always say is if you're asked something that has a formula related to it, you need to write the formula first. So the volume of a cone. What is the volume of a cone? Well, it's related to the volume of a cylinder. And also it's always important to remember that it has that base that we want to focus on. The base of a cone is a circle. So I like starting out with that circle idea. Pi r squared is the area of a circle. And then uh, if this were like a cylinder, we would times it by the height. And then the cone idea, just like a triangle is half of a rectangle, a cone is one third of a cylinder. So it's one third of a cylinder is the, the key idea. Here's our cylinder idea. This is the area of a circle times the height. And then we're cutting it by one third to represent the cone. All right. So things we need and uh, let's plug it in and let's do our best with uh, how this works. So always draw your shape if you can. Okay, so there's my cone, and we have a height of 15.4. So straight up from the center is height equals 15.4 meters, and then a base with a circumference of 18 meters. All right, so this base has a circumference of 18 meters. All right, so notice that in our volume formula, we need R and height. Well, we already got height, so that's done, but we need to find the radius. So we're using the circumference information to try to pull out the radius. All right, so that means now we need another formula, the circumference of a circle. Circumference of a circle is equal to, now this is the area of a circle, pi r squared. I always like to remember that circumference and area are related. They have the same exact numbers and letters, it's just organized different. So there's a two in it, there's a pi in it, and there's an r in it. It's all multiplied for circumference. Area is more advanced, so it has the square on it. All right, so if the circumference is equal to two pi r, and they were told the circumference is 18, then to find r, I'm gonna plug that in. So I'm gonna have 18 is equal to two pi r. Solving for r, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, some of these programs like to do it in, in pieces. I'll go ahead and do it in pieces too. Divide by two first. I get nine is equal to uh, pi r. And that means it's not telling us to approximate pi. That means I have to keep pi floating around in this problem. So I'm gonna divide by pi divide by pi, and I'm gonna get nine over pi. Well, let me draw a pi there, uh, equals our r. So uh, that right there is our pi. It must really like that, those function buttons. It's not letting me write on it. All right, so r is pi, uh, nine over pi. So now I know that this is nine divided by pi, all right? So we'll go ahead and plug everything in and go from there. See how it goes. So now we have volume is equal to one third pi 
And then our radius is 9 over pi. All of that gets squared. And then our height is 15.4. Okay, so this is just a little bit tricky in the sense that we have to keep these pies floating around through the problem, but let's just be careful about it. This now becomes, what do we do first in this? Order of operations would be to square this first. So everything gets repeated. And at this step, we're going to square it. So it goes to the top and the bottom. So that becomes 81 over pi squared times... 15.4, okay? Well, we have a, this pi is like it's on top. This pi is like it's on the bottom. So one of these pies cancel out with one of these. And this three is on the bottom. 81 is on top. Uh, I know that 81 is nine times nine. So I know three goes into 81. I just want to be careful about it. Uh, it looks like 17, but I just want to check. 81 divided by 3. 27. Good thing I didn't guess. So this is now equal to, so this turns into 27. So I now have on the top a 27. On the bottom, a pi. And this is still times 15.4. A number times a fraction goes where? It goes to the top. Remember, this is just like over 1, and we multiply straight across, so 15.4 times 27. 15.4 times 27. I got 415.8, and we still have on the bottom that pi. So this is all equal to volume, the volume of our cone. So uh, at this stage, so this would be our final answer in terms of pi, but they want it to the nearest tenth. So now we'll go ahead and use pi on our calculator. So divided by pi. And I now get equals, the exact answer is 1, 3, 2, Point three five three dot dot dot. Make sure you can get these numbers along with me. <laughs> Three dots. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. And then it wants to the nearest tenths place. So tenths is right here. I look at the next number. It's a five or greater, so I round up. So this is now approximately equal to one three two point four. All right. See how we did? 132.4. Two, Got it. All right, let's just check their work. So we have to find the radius from the circumference. Good. Uh, then solve for r. There's our r. Uh, I'm not happy with this at all. The He should have pi floating around in here. Uh, this is an infinite decimal and really hard to keep track of. And notice that some of our work, we have things that cancel around later. Okay. So, and then he just kind of plugs it in and calculates it. 132.4. 132.4. Exactly right. So uh, this way was it would be really difficult to do on your calculator, storing that number. And like I said, it should have that dot, dot, dot. There's nothing that's been rounded here because he has the equal sign. So uh, I, I'm not very happy with his, his solution. Make sure you kind of follow along with what I did. All right, let's check uh, different types of problems, see what else we got. So given base circumference, okay, that's what we just did. Given a base radius, that would be the easiest one. And given a base diameter, we've dealt with those already with cylinders. So we would have to just divide it by two to find the radius. This was definitely the hardest one. And the rest one, uh, rest of them should be uh, easier or along this lines. 